it's a bad time to be a tree in Kingstown because there's a herbivorous hunter on the loose. But more on that later. For now, let's see the different types of wildlife I spotted in Kingstown's park. I actually saw this deer several months ago, but I thought it would be a good introduction to the biodiversity of this environment. There's all sorts of pretty plants to encounter like this creeping English ivy, which is actually an invasive species. There are cute little songbirds like this tufted titmouse, defiantly singing its song in the cold winter weather. And if we zoom in on this gravel-strewn path, we find there's even more to see on a microscopic level. Of course, I'm talking about the underwater world of moss. A thin water film makes a great place for rotifers to swim about, the happy inhabitants of this emerald city. And what other creatures can we encounter here? Well, let's get back to that herbivorous hunter I was talking about earlier. Clear signs that it was in the area, I set up a trail camera to try to catch it in action. In the meantime, while I was waiting for something to happen, I decided to examine some of the clues it left behind, these wood chips off a broken tree. It seems single-celled organisms can live just about anywhere, though it doesn't really help me find out what animal caused this carnage. It probably wasn't this wood mouse exploring my trail camera, but maybe this is the culprit. This is, of course, a beaver. They're pretty cool, and it looks like this one is getting ready to build a new den. I'll be sure to keep tabs on it in the future. For now, it slinks back into the water, so I decide to take a dip as well into this microscopic world. Admittedly, it doesn't seem like there's too much to see this time. Perhaps the water's a bit too cold. Though, after leaving it for a few days, I found that all sorts of creatures like these single-celled paramecia began to breed. A clear hint that the warming water of spring will bring an explosion of microscopic life. But in the meantime, check out my YouTube or Instagram if you want to see more of my cool wildlife work. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next week.